Welcome to this beautiful, beautiful mock-up center by Airbus. We're here, they've got all the different types of planes here, so the whole family. And then we're standing in front of the, their flagship, the A350. And that's basically the mock-up where all the customers or so the airlines go and design what they want in the cabin, how many classes. So we're gonna go in there now and I'm gonna show you a bit. Oh. Now to show you a little uh, bits and pieces here. So we've got all that configuration here. Business class, first is at the front, as always. And they've got different cabin layouts. So that business class is totally looking different to that business class. So that customers can get like, think about what they want. And then Airbus customizes it with them. So it's totally customi customizable, customizable. Yeah. And then even what they think about, if you come in and you see those, so you walk in and then you've got those ambient lights and what they just told us is that if you use lighting, lightning right, then you can reduce jet lag by three hours. That's what they tested and that's amazing how much they think about the customer experience in their flagship right now. And the cool thing about it is they're doing it or they're rolling it on every plane they've got. So it's the space, how they call it, airspace basically and that stands for they're going to roll it out on every fleet aircraft they have. Something else. First of all, appreciate the space. And they've got those. You just touch them and they dim. Amazing, isn't it? And you can make them fully dark. That's so nice. And if you want to open it again, just press the opposite side. And you can stop in intermediate steps wherever you want. Yeah, I don't know if I should press anything here right now. A350. Cruise. Right. So basically, there's the cockpit door behind that door, and you come up the stairs. You've got that nice seating area, and then you've got those two bunk beds up there. So really, really comfortable, really clean. You've got you've got that spacious area here. I think I gotta talk to my island that they gotta buy a 350. <laughs> Looks so comfy up here. You've got that seat. Yeah, the seat is nice. It's really nice. It smells so new. <laughs> when they redesigned the A350, they made it a bit wider and a bit longer to get that huge cabin feeling. 30 inches in total in length and 4 inches in wide. But that spacious wideness and length gives you just that huge room feeling because they removed the, the center bins here as well, which gives you that spacious feeling. If you're a customer and you go to Airbus, and I think what's really important for Airbus is Obviously the customer's happy, but also that the customer of the customer is like happy, happy, happy. Blown <laughs> you away. can say that, huh? Blown away. Blown away by, by the experience with the lighting system. They've got way over 6 million, I think you said, right? Something like that, yeah. So that there's so many LED lighting and you go to Hamburg then to customize all your lightning and stuff and everything. And then you get a USB stick, you go here and you plug it in and you can see how it would look like in the end product, which is amazing. What he told us in the, when we got the tour, what I found really nice is that basically Airbus gives the frame of the picture, but the customer paints the picture, which is a really nice way of putting things, I would say. And you feel it when you walk in here. I mean, it's, it gives you directly a feeling of being home somehow, right, Adam? Yeah, absolutely. Should we go and check out economy class? Yeah. Especially in economy, those four inches widening the cabin makes a huge difference in the seating comfort in economy class. And you can see here again, they've got all those different variations of economy where the customer can um, decide which one they like and then even customize it further, which is really nice, I think. But now we gotta go to the next plane. My head is already exploding with all the impressions and everything. But now we finished the A350. We're gonna keep going to the A330 now. <laughs> uh, 330 is later, now it's 220. Can we just appreciate those economy seats? Are they beautiful? Welcome to the Abels A220 now. It's the smallest plane they've got and uh, pretty new to the line as well. But what I found so interesting, so Airbus got their DNA now. When they're building an aircraft, they want to fulfill that DNA. And they, they've got nine elements, that's what they call it. And even when I went to the A350 and now coming to the A220, They've got that unique welcome, one element of them. I'm not gonna go through all nine of them now. But when you come into the door at the front, you've got that spacious uh, head tracks again. They, they, they've got the same size, 
even those small planes, then they've got that beautiful lighting system and you can change it like in the A350 to um, a sunrise, a sunset, a boarding, a dinner, whatever. And that's what they bring, what the airspace DNA means for Airbus, that they're bringing it to every plane they've got, nevertheless how small or big it is, just to give the customer always the same feeling of feeling home, appreciated, um, welcomed. And they even made that cabin wider as well. Yeah? And I, yeah. And I just asked him, um, since when they're manufacturing exact that DNA basically, so that airspace DNA, and it's um, shipping from now on, basically. Yeah. And that's all customable for customers. So if an airline comes here, let's say uh, this cover comes here and wants to buy an A220, they can change everything. They don't like that lining here, they change it. They don't like the armrest, they change it. So you don't have to buy a whole seat because they've got different seat configurations, but you can customize your own one. So we're in the A3. 30 now, my hometown, <laughs> and um, in that mock-up, basically pretty much the same as the A350. A lot of different customizable cabin layouts, basically. Another interesting fact is, even in the A330 now, in the Neo, they removed the um, center head tracks again to just give that really spacious feeling, and they did it by um, making them a bit wider and a bit more down, so that's increased space by um, 60%. Changing an angle gives you 60% of more space. Another interesting thing is, we saw the crew rest in the A350 earlier today, and they're gonna change it now. The entrance earlier on the A350 was here, just like on the A330, but now they're gonna change it, so they're gonna put the entrance on the A350 um, as an option. You can decide as an airline if you want the barrel there, there up here and that gives them because the A50 they had here they had the stairs they are going up into the crew rest and that removes all that and gives them size for two more trolleys and the um, bar to, for the stewardesses to work which is amazing since I never showed you the crew rest at work it's basically the same that's our crew rest we have different ones but that's our cockpit crew rest so you just loosen it up and then it comes down and then you've got a bunk bed all the way up here really nice you've got a little TV here but um, most of the time it's off when I'm here because I'm sleeping. And you've got some light and uh, phone that you can call. Okay, maybe it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the crew as guys. So right now we are in the A320, so narrow body again. But this version is uh, the new cabin design, long range version. JetBlue was the first customer and they bought it in a three seat configuration. So I think uh, Echo, Premium Echo, Business, gonna come to business in a second. The XLR version coming on 24 can even go from Hamburg to Vancouver in an A320, isn't that like mind-blowing? And that's why they had to change the seat configuration a bit. So you can't just stack up people in economy for such long flights. So they had to think about some new innovative um, designs for business class. But unfortunately right now it's quite busy up there. So we got to stand here in premium. No, that's premium echo. That looks business by the way. They all look so good. I can't even decide if it's business <laughs> first or premium echo. Mind blowing what they're doing here at Airbus. It's so fascinating. I mean, I never thought that I'll be sitting here having a tour through the mock-up at Airbus. And uh, since I started other social media and now I have the chance to look at all those products which is amazing and all thanks to you that you're following me otherwise I wouldn't have the chance to do that so thanks to you guys out there right now right here at Airbus. Hi I'm here now you're on the YouTube channel. Oh, <laughs> so those business class seats because on a narrow body you need um, to use space more wisely and that's why they designed that seat where Amir is sitting right yeah. now um, as certified for takeoff and landing Right? Yeah. And then they've got that seat where I'm sitting, as soon as you're cruising, you can put that thing up and just lay all the way down. Which is amazing. Amazing, yeah. It doesn't great take speed. up that much space. Yeah. It's great space and it's like uh, being on board the 321 yeah. and seeing such a configuration, it's really amazing. Narrow yeah. body flying from Hamburg to Vancouver, even on the XLR yeah. version. And that seat, I would do it. No, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mock-up completed. Now we're off to the next step, which is going to be uh, the final assembly line. Video coming out tomorrow about that one. Now, if you want, you can go back to the vlog and check out that one. Till we have the next stop. Let's go.